Now, it's not a day often celebrated, but one worth mentioning. This is Benjamin Franklin's birthday. Before the founding father invented the lightning rod, at the age of 11, he came up with the idea for swim flippers. Oh, wow. he is one of the earliest known kid inventors, which is why today has become Kid Inventors Day. CBS News John Diaz highlights a Brooklyn based program that is fueling creativity and inventors of tomorrow. At just 16 years old, Sophia Strauss knows exactly what she wants to do when she grows up. My super specific jo dream job is like coding the rovers that go to Mars. She'll likely have to graduate high school first, but isn't waiting to get ahead. Kids can actually do a lot in the world despite their young age. And she and her teammates at NYU Tandon's Center for K-12 STEM Education are proving that to be true. We also have a buzzer. That will sound. Before they even entered the 11th grade, this past summer, the group of teenage girls invented a gun detection system to reduce the number of school shootings. It's just a prototype, but they learned how to create it through this summer program at NYU. 10 year olds, 11 year olds, it doesn't matter how old you are, we are going to be the future and we are the people, the engineers, the physicists, the astronomists that are going to allow us to advance into the future. The center gives kids of all ages, from elementary to high school, access Access to high quality learning experiences, teaching them about science, technology, engineering, and math, also known as STEM. And thanks to private funding and donations, more than half the kids who attend this program pay absolutely nothing. Ben Esner is the director. And we want to just show them that no, in fact, there are no barriers, and that you get to choose, and that's what's important. And we're giving you the tools and the knowledge and the motivation to choose. While some city schools do have robust STEM programs, as Nurse says, yes. there isn't enough access citywide and that needs to change. According to the Public School Review, only 29% of high school graduates tested ready for higher education in science. And just 43% are considered prepared for college level math courses. We want to make sure that all students get that access so that they can decide for themselves, you know, whether engineering and science and te technology are fields that they want to pursue. Because if you ask these students, with the proper access to education, their knowledge and creativity can take them anywhere they want to go. In downtown Brooklyn, John Diaz, CBS 2 News. Pretty exciting to yeah, watch. Yeah, impressive. <laughs>